hello guys this is you adelike you're welcome to another episode of my video and in this video today i'm going to be showing you guiding you and teaching you how to connect your you trading bot to bitget crypto exchange wallet yes you can actually use as many uh, exchanges as possible because even uh, you trading allows for a lot of crypto exchange wallets even if you're in us where they are where there are restrictions you can still use the binance us you can use kucoin you can sorry you can use kraken you can use coinbase yeah so for people in places where there are no restrictions you can use binance oks bybit bitget kucoin bitfinance htx kraken as well coinbase binx mexi gate.io so I don't want to make this video short let's just dive in straight into what we want to do today so without further ado i'm going to be tapping on the api binding so when you launch your application it's going to show you this face let me bring out the brush so it's going to show you this face and when you see this face you just come to api binding on your u trading application so you can see and i'm going to be working on bitget i'm working on bitget let me recycle it so you can see i'm working on bitget so i'm connecting my bitget application to my u trading or should i say i'm connecting my u trading to my bitget and one thing i want to let you know i've always said this and let me see if here again is that this is a business whereby your capital remains in your crypto exchange wallet whatever crypto exchange wallet you are using your capital will be resting there you are not funding you trading application with your trading capital the only capital that comes to you trading application is the one you're using to purchase um gas fee sorry gas fee and these are the breakdown of gas fee that you can get on you trading application so when there are no promotions when when there is no promotion ongoing so these are the gas fee. you can see them here that you can purchase can see them let me let me scroll down a little bit so you can also see so these are the gas fee you can up to a million gas fee which would cost you seven thousand dollars so there is promotion actually ongoing so it is price slashed but the one that we actually use to to purchase the ones we purchase now for the purpose of you know ranking also is the one on the limited version the cvip limited as you can see here so you just tap on it it's going to open you tap on it like this and it's going to open so we have for cpvi cvip1 to cvip2 for the cvip1 it's going to cost you 100 dollars cvip2 will cost you 480 dollars as you can see this one is going to cost you 100 dollars and you're getting 15,000 gas if you pay 90 90 dollars you're getting 9,000 gas but if you pay 100 dollars but this is not where you're buying the, C, uh, the vip1 this is not it whenever you want to buy 100 dollars just reach out to me using the uh my phone number i'm going to be dropping my phone number on this particular video in my description box and also you can connect with my uh community group um via the link i'm going to be also dropping in the description so you can you can reach out to me i'll guide you on how to buy your you gas then you can get the cvip2 for 480 cvip314 and cpip4 for 5000 if you want to buy more than this amount you can also reach out to me please note why am i saying this i'm saying this because the only money that is coming into you trading is the money you are using to purchase your gas fee your trading capital is going to be residing in your uh, crypto exchange wallet so i'll be going back to the api just like i said so i want to connect the big get so please follow follow my guide follow my instruction so you don't miss out on anything so i'm tapping on the big get as you can see so when it comes up many of us are very quick to tap on authorization no that's not what to do you just come to normal you tap on this normal you tap on the normal and when it opens we are working with the api key sorry we are working with the api key the secret key and the pass freeze after that on you trade on bitget we'll be copying this to bitget then we'll do the other connection so follow me uh, on this right guys so i've launched my you trading then i go to my bitget as you can see then when you come to bitget it's going to show you this face then the next thing you need to do when you come to a face like this is to tap on this box at the top here this box at the top here as you can see top left that's the menu icon 
you just tap on it very easy top here this menu icon at the top on this box this menu icon at the top here when you tap on it it's going to show you this face when it shows you this face just scroll down to more services sorry scroll down to more services as you can see here to more services can you see you tap on the more services and when the more services opens you just scroll down to check on tools so you scroll down to tools when you see tools then you you, you check on api keys because i'm working with the api keys this is what enables you to connect your u trading application or whatever robot you want to use to bit get then you tap on the api keys so when it opens going to show you something of this nature then you tap on create a new api key so i'm tapping on it now to create so when it opens the next thing to do here is to tap on this one automatically generated api keys so i'm tapping on it so when it opens it's going to show you now the first thing you do here is to put a name you can put any name of your choice but for the sake of this purpose of this video i'll be using you trading as you can see make sure you are not leaving any space after whatever it is you have typed everything must be together then after that for my pass freeze i'm going to be using you trading 2025 please make sure that this pass phrase by the time you are also typing it on the you trading application they tally if you are using small letter ultra make sure you stick with your small letter ultra whatever you are using make sure it is what you're also putting on your trading platform now we want to bind this ip address we want to bind the ip address so i want to go and copy um, the IP from you trading so you minimize you go to your you trading so this is what you are copying at the bottom here as you can see this is what you are copying at the bottom here you just tap on it so this whole thing is what we want to copy but you just tap on the copy as you can see there so when you tap on it it's going to say copy done you bring it back here and you paste it on the bind IP address so after doing that then we are working on this session this session of permission uh settings you may choose multiple options so what are we selecting we are selecting three things which are you are selecting open interest spot trading and futures order so look at what how is going to go open interest spot trading and futures order so after selecting these three then you tap on confirm you tap on what on confirm so let me tap on it so immediately when it shows you that it's going to ask you to bring in your details your mobile number code you are going to go to your email copy the code you get because i binded my email my mobile number and my google authenticator so quickly let me quickly get all of these things now without wasting much of our time so i'm going to go into my gmail i'm going to my G gmail now to get it so i've received it as you can see so i copy this then I take it to my Gmail, uh, to my BitGet, and I paste. So most times when you want to get, most times when you want to get the mobile number, there are times when they do not send, they don't even send it as SMS anymore. I've been observing that. You are going to be getting it as OTP code on your WhatsApp. So this time around, this time around, it came in as OTP. They didn't send it to my WhatsApp. So I'm, I've just copied it and I'm going to paste. There's a paste here. You just tap on paste here. So it's going to come up. Then let me go copy my Google Authenticator. You won't be able to see this because I believe it's blank. So you just tap on the code on your Google Authenticator. And you bind it there. You paste and you confirm. It automatically confirms itself. So now after it has confirmed, now what will come up here, the first thing you are getting here is you're going to be copying this secret key. Please take note that this secret key disappears immediately you it's it binds all the code the email the mobile number the google authenticator or whatever you are using it's going to bring you to this face and when it comes here copy the secret key do not scroll down to tap on confirm do not scroll down to tap on confirm copy the secret key first so i've just copied man then you minimize and take it to your u trading you minimize and take it to your u trading so and you paste it you can just tap paste here you paste it on your secret key then the next thing you are going to do is to copy the api key just like you have copied the secret key you can see the key for the key um icon the icon for copy here then you just tap on it and when it when you press it just bring it back and you just paste then the next thing you need to do is now to minimize and go back to your uh, bit get and confirm this just tap on confirm and it's going to automatically confirm so when it confirms you are going to see the whole of this meaning that your api key management has been set up so i'm going to go in, I will, i'll be going back here so i want to work on my passphrase do not forget that what i used for my passphrase was you trading all in small letters you uh, like just something like this 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 was the exact thing i used 
small letter you see then i'm going to tap on after putting all these things then the next thing you do is to tap on import which i'll be doing now import i'll just tap on it let's wait for it to add so automatically so once it has been automatically confirmed that is that it has been added it will show you like something of this nature where you will see modify meaning that it has been modified so now let us i want to quickly show us something where people some people used to make mistake which i want to show us now now let me go back to my uh, my bitget how much do i have well, the account i'm using is an account i'm not using to trade so i use this for videos for practicals and many things so as you can see what i have as my balance here is 0 0.51 as you can see at the top here what i have here is 0 0.51 now let us see if through what we have just done through the API management, if it's going to reflect on my U-Trading account. So let's go confirm. So I'm going back to my U-Trading. And when you come to U-Trading to view such, you just tap on the asset at the bottom right. You can see I just circled it. You tap on asset. So you tap on it like this. Then when it opens, you just scroll this up a little bit. You can see that after binding my account, it's showing my bid get breakdown. It's showing my, my bid get breakdown here. As you can see, guys, it's showing my bit get breakdown. So what I have on my spot is 0 0.51, as you saw it on my bit get. So guys, um, I've been able to show you how to bind your account to bit get. One of these days, when I'm also free, I'm going to be working on how to bind on Binance for the sake of people who wants to use Binance. So I I recommend bit get. Why? Because they charge low amount when it comes to trading. Number two, you can get bonus from them. Number three, you can do P2P. That is buying and selling of your digital asset, most especially USDT, converting it to selling it to Naira. That's why I personally recommend BitGet. It's not a must. You can do what you can use whatever crypto exchange you like, but it's my own personal recommendation. So thank you so much, guys, for staying to the end of this video. Please do well to like this video, comment on this video, share this video so that other persons who need it too can also make good use of it and also do what subscribe to our channel this is our community it's for every one of us subscribe to it and turn on your notification bell so as to be the first person to receive whatever video i drop as regarding you trading or any financial freedom opportunities in the future so thank you so much guys i'm going to be seeing you in my next video and bye for now